listen to that sizzle. If you're in the mood for classic American dishes, you may want to head to Traverse City. Specifically, Slab Town, where you can get yourself a hand, uh, handmade, hand patted burger and fresh fries. Jenny Bushell explains she's taking you inside the kitchen at Slab Town Burgers. We're just off Front Street in the Slab Town neighborhood of Traverse City, where one restaurant is serving up slabs of burger in a big brown greasy bag. It's Slab Town Burgers, and we're going inside the kitchen. From hand cut fries, you are a rock star at potatoes, to way overstuffed burgers. What? Is that not a commercial? What? Over the top quality is what Slab Town Burgers is all about. So we started about six years ago and we just came up with all these processes. So. Yeah. General Manager Jake Dunn joined the team in the early days. That's when owners Jeff and Tony Ponnell started the burger icon. We were realtors, both my wife and I, and when the uh, slow times came with real estate, we decided that we should probably try something different. And we had owned this building. And so we gave it a shot. Um, burgers were always something that I enjoyed every day to eat. <laughs> the building itself is a house in the Slabtown district, a neighborhood named after the housing style from logging days. In the lumbering times of the uh, Traverse City, the Bohemians had made where they live here, and they would receive slabs of wood for free to build their houses out of. And so they became known as Slabtown. Jake starts his crew every day with the staples. There's potato punching. And we do this every morning, as well as about 700 to 800 pounds of a burger. And the burgers are scooped by hand. 80% beef, 20 fat. After the first frying, the spuds are racked up to be finished fresh at each order. One rack a morning is about okay. what we do every day. Yep, so about 12 sheet pans is what we do. And a nice bacon is a cherry on top. Yep, Isn't yep. that beautiful? About 15 pounds of bacon every day. And a good amount of it goes into the stuffed burgers. Right here we're making Pungy's pepper patty and we're making our big blue burger. These are our two most popular stuffed burgers. The blue starts with blue cheese, bacon, parsley, and cream cheese. And then for our Pungy's pepper patty, we have our jalapenos. Break that down for me, Pungy's. Is that this, a person? That is the owner's nickname. Yes, I created the Pungy's pepper patty. I always liked jalapenos, cream cheese, and why not stuff it? The filling is stuffed between two patties. It's a burger dumpling. <laughs> then they go straight to the grill. The half pounders take about five minutes until they're dressed up with toppings on a classic white, pretzel bread, or gluten free bun. Oh my goodness. The spuds go down for their final frying, then seasoned and served in a couple of options original, chili cheese, or cheese and gravy. Cheese is good. And to top it all off, the Slab Town Shake is the concrete that holds every bite together. I'm just going to take care of that little bit right there. Ooh, 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 maybe I'll have a little more. <laughs> Dine in or take out, the Slab Town Stamp is served with a smile and a grease blotted bag. In Georgia, I ordered a uh, beef sandwich and the lady brought it out to me in a bag with grease dripping out of it and I'm like, that is cool. So the next time you're on the hunt for grub, or maybe just a good time, call Slabtown. Reporting inside the kitchen, I'm Jenny Bouchelle, 9 and 10 News.